and welcome. My name is Tolan and I'm the co-founder of Productivity Me. In this video, we're going to look at how to check or uncheck a box within a dialog box. Things like strike through or superscript when we are in the font selection dialog box. So with that, let's get started. Now, the way in which we are going to achieve this is by using the spacebar. We can move within an individual group by pressing the tab key or by pressing the combination of shift tab. Once we arrive at an item that has a checkbox, we can press the space bar and that would check or uncheck that individual item. Here we have a preview of what our text will look like. So if we were to hit shift tab and move up to our strike through selection, once we press the space bar, you'd notice that if we had text, it would look as though it had a line through it. So we're going to hit OK, and then we're going to type the word text, and you'll notice that it has strike through. Another example of this would be if we were to have some more text, and we were to launch our font dialog box. If we come over here, we'll hit Control Tab. We can have it be locked or hidden. Let's say that we want to wrap our text. We're going to go down here and we're going to go to wrap text. Okay. So for in here, text to the text is now wrapped, meaning that it would auto fit this, uh, this individual, this individual cell. So in a later video, we will talk a little bit about the idea of wrap text or rather in a later course, but just know that by pressing the space bar, when you have an individual item such as here, we have straight through or subscript. When you press the space bar, it would activate that or deactivate that selection. We're going to activate it and then come down to enter, hit OK, and it would automatically be displayed in that cell. So. Again, in this video, we looked at using the spacebar in order to activate or deactivate a specific choice within a dialog box. In our next video, we're going to look at the idea of using the enter key in order to accept and apply different changes. So if you're interested, check that out in our next video. And as always, thanks for watching.